Let's do it, man. All right, hi everybody. This is Niall from HowDoIGetGreatLegs.com, and I am here with Mikey, Mr. Pancakes Whitfield from WorkoutFinishers.com. Now, if you don't know Mike, and you should know Mike, uh, Mike has developed an incredible routine to just augment fat blasting. And what I love about it, and I, I've put this into my own workout plans and that of my clients, is there's small little mini workouts at the end of your workout, but the fat burning is exponential, right? Maybe, maybe to start off, Mike, you could tell us a little bit about how you discovered this and then how it's working for you and your clients. Sure, absolutely. In a nutshell, a finisher is a compilation of interval training and maybe some body weight training or high rep density training, something like that, but you're combining the two into a very short condensed workout. So the rest periods are extremely short, which means you're doing a lot of work in a little bit of time, which puts a lot of uh, metabolic, uh, I would say, damage. And what that's going to do is that's going to force your body to burn calories in order to recover from that. And it lasts as little as two minutes all the way up to 10 minutes. I would say on average, day average, I'd say about five minutes. But very, very intense. And how it kind of panned out was I knew th these coaches like Alan Cosgrove and uh, Craig Ballantyne, they were using these short, intense uh, rounds at the end of their workouts. And I just happened to be the only one that would be obsessive about it, you know, obsessive about it because it, it just it was mind-boggling to see how much work you can get done in a little bit of time. And so what I would do is I would take my clients, and instead of interval training, I would have them do these finishers. And one of two things were happening, if not both. One, they were getting just as good as results, if not better, than compared to traditional interval training. And two, they were getting a little more, I would say the word is I'm looking for is addicted to their workouts. And that's really the, the biggest benefit behind finishers is they're so different than you know, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, or a minute on, a minute off. That just gets, it gets boring. Plus, you have to have uh, access to treadmills, ellipticals, bikes, things like that. Whereas, on a finisher, I get really crazy on the set and rep schemes. And, you know, we could do as many rounds as possible on three exercises with only three reps each, which on paper, it looks so easy, but when you do it, it's, it's very, very uh, intense. But it's just a great way to end your workout, increase the calorie burn. It, it shatters your plateau if you've, you've been sitting at a plateau for a while. And that, but you know, more importantly, it improves your conditioning. So you're going to get a, a better workout overall in your main workouts because it's going to help out with your muscular endurance and things like that. Plus, you'll find things like going up and down the stairs, carrying groceries, playing with your kids. You're going to find those things much easier. So I started to exclusively use finishers instead of intervals with my clients, and they got better results. So that's, that's kind of how it, it, it evolved. You know, one thing I love about finishers is, you know, people have different focuses on their training. You could have somebody who wants to do long distance, and a lot of long distance people still have trouble losing weight. You could have, my clients want to develop great legs. You could have other guys, you know, they're trying to go from a skinny guy to a big guy, or just get a six pack. Whatever your goal is, whatever your program, the great thing about finishers is you can tack it on to any system. It's short, but like I said, everyone gets those same fat burning effects from it. Absolutely. And that's that's what's so great too, is you simply just pick one and go with it. And it could be, you know, whether you're on a full body program and working out three days a week, or if you're on a split program working out six days a week, it's it's something that you can plug in with any virtually any workout. It just helps you get results faster. That's really the bottom line. As long as you put in the work, you know. You know, finishers are not easy, but if you put in the work, put in the intensity, you'll see the results. Now, one thing, you know, people always see these videos and they're like, does it work, does it not work? Maybe you could tell us about a little, your, a couple of your clients who've had great success, and I know your own personal story is actually just amazing. Yeah, absolutely, and I'd love to tell my story, because that's, to me, that's, that's the one that's going to inspire people into action, because I have terrible genetics, thanks mom and dad, <laughs> and, uh, and I just I lose weight very easily. And uh, long story short, what had happened was uh, back in 2002, I was about 300 pounds, and I was wearing 46-inch jeans. So I was a very big guy, got very tired very quickly, got exhausted just from going up and down the stairs. And what had happened is I was playing the PlayStation, I was playing football, got extremely frustrated, and I threw down the controller, and when I bent down to pick it up, that's when I realized, wow, 
who had I become? Because that's when I realized I had a very large stomach. And of course, that's when I just realized I had to do something. So I, uh, in that following year in January, just like a lot of other people do, I jumped on the New Year's bandwagon, ended up losing 75 pounds in six months. Yes. And yeah, very good. And my goal was 50, so I, I blew that out of the water. And uh, from there, I actually lost another 30 pounds, so it brings up the total to 105 pounds. Which is great. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy amount. Like that is life changing, right? That's it very, very much so. It's it's affected everything in my life. It's affected my confidence, my self esteem, my productivity, uh, many other things. So it's it was a huge blessing. And the thing that I'm more proud of, though, is that I've been able to keep it off. Because here it is. Uh, I started that journey uh, ten years ago, as a matter of fact, and I've been able to keep it off since then. So losing it is one thing, but to be able to keep it off, especially with my genes, you know, that's that's another. So, and of course, I use full body workout. Sometimes I'll do an upper lower split, but I definitely use finishers. It's my favorite part of the workout, and I've used that with my clients. And uh, as far as results for my clients, I've had six clients of my private coaching clients enter the turbulence training transformation contest that Craig holds with his uh, with his system, and all six of those either either placed or won the contest, including Philip, who lost uh, 34 pounds in 12 weeks, who didn't do an ounce of cardio, including intervals. All he did was three workouts a week, used finishers, changed his diet, of course, and uh, it, the weight just fell off. So yeah. it was really cool to see that. They are amazing. One last thing I love about him, because I, I really can't go on about it enough, but you know, you're a busy guy, right? You got a family, work. I, you, I, I'm the same. You know, I got a couple of kids. It seems like I'm moving from the minute I get up. And guys like us, one thing we always talk about is consistency, consistency. You cannot go days or weeks missing your workouts. And it's not that you don't have valid excuse to work out. I sure. can squeeze it in first thing in the morning, last thing at night. I had a great workout, and I can tick that box. I got my workout in today. And that, yeah. that's, I mean, they are just truly amazing, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree. And, and what, it, what that does is even if it's just a, a you know, four-minute finisher that you plug in in the middle of your day, what it's more important than what it does to you mentally. It's going to help you make better decisions with your food. It's going to make you make you know better decisions with with how you you know disperse your energy. It'll, it'll do. It'll reduce your stress levels. Just the little things that kind of have this domino effect. That's why it's so important to say that, to uh, stay consistent. All right. And in closing, you want to tell the gang anything else? Yeah. Never give up. And I'll be the first to tell you. I've, I had some bad moments when I was going through my journey. And uh, I hit a couple of plateaus here and there, but I kept pushing, kept doing my finishers, kept making better decisions, and the weight just kept going. So keep cranking no matter what. I love it. I love it. So listen, if, if you've hit a plateau in your program or you're looking to take it to the next level, it's best not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Stick to your program. But when you take something like finishers and tack it on and doing things like that, that's going to really take you places. Small changes, small tweaks that have huge impacts. All right, if you want to find out more, go visit Mikey over at workoutfinishers.com and you can check out the magic. All right, hey, listen. I'm